So the first mention of this area was in the time of Joshua when he chased five kings down through the valley of Ajalon and they came this direction. The Bible said, And the Lord discomfited them before Israel and slew them with the great slaughter at Gibeon, that's very close to Jerusalem, and chased them along the way that goeth up to Beth Horon and smote them to Azekah and unto Makeda. And it came to pass as they fled from before Israel and were in the going down to Beth Horon that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, which is right here. And they that died from the stones were more than than Israel slew with the sword. So this was a Philistine city right here on top of this mound. It has not been, uh, uh, it has not been dug, so there's still a lot of work to do. If they would dig down here, they would find the walls of Ashkelon. Now, during the time of, of David and Goliath, this was still a Philistine city. This valley was the border between the Israelites and the Philistines. Azekah was a Philistine city. On this mound right across from us, this smaller hill, was Soko or Shoko. It was an Israelite city. Bethlehem would have been straight that way. The Israelites were camped on that mountain right there. The Philistines were camped on this mountain and they probably had so many people that they wrapped around like, like so. This, so this is the Valley of Elah, but also over there as it turns, that's also the Valley of Elah. So this whole thing is the Valley of Elah. But listen to what the Bible says. I think it gives pretty clear uh, instruction on exactly what happened. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle and were gathered together at Shoko, which belongeth to Judah and pitched between Shoko and Azekah. That's right here. So the Philistines were camped just this side of the brook. Right in the bottom of the valley, you see that dry ditch. That's the brook. And Saul and his men, the men of Israel, were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah and set the battle in array against the Philistines. The Philistines stood on a mountain on the one side and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side and there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath whose height was six cubits and a span. So it was, it was here that Saul brought the armies of Israel, and it was here that the Philistines were camped, and it was there that the battle took place. Every day Goliath would go out and challenge the armies of Israel. The Bible said for 40 days, and nobody, nobody wanted to fight him until a shepherd boy came from Bethlehem, just right over there, to bring food for his brothers. And he came down and crossed the brook, and as he crossed that brook, he stooped down and picked up five stones and faced the giant right here, right here. This is where the battle took place. This is where David killed Goliath. This is where the Philistines started running because their champion, the big mouth giant, had just been killed. This is where it happened. Okay, so this could have been, this could have been much lower at that time. Five smooth stones. Somewhere in this brook that he got them. The Israelites were camped on this side. Philistines on this side. He came down and picked up five smooth stones, and that did the job. 
in the Valley of Elah.